Despite how it may appear, there's more to Dominion than just eliminating the other team. So allow us to break down For Honor's most popular game mode and give you some tips for success. Scoring points is the key to success in Dominion. When a team has a thousand game score, it throws the enemy team into the breaking state, which leaves them unable to respawn. Defeat all your opponents in breaking, and you've won the game. The actions you take to increase your team's score also contribute to your personal renown, capturing points, killing enemy heroes, and killing minions. Renown is how you earn points toward your hero's feats, so these actions give you game score to push your opponent into breaking, plus unlock your feats sooner, which will provide a huge advantage in your future fights. The most efficient way to push your opponent to the breaking state and unlock your feats is the minion lane, or zone B. Through controlling B and farming the minions there, you put yourself in the best position to win. But a hero can't heal in that zone, so they can't stay there forever. You need to heal in one of the other zones to stay in the fight. The distance between a side point and mid lane is crucial. For example, zone C on Temple Garden is really valuable because it's a short distance from mid. So tell the other team to get out of your swamp. It's easier to hold on to the middle lane with support from a side lane. Rotations like this are one of the most important fundamentals of Dominion. A rotation is moving from one point to another on the map, usually to reinforce a weak point for your team. If your teammate is in trouble, you rotate over to assist them. Or when you're stuck in the minion lane with low health, it may be a good idea to rotate to A or C to heal. Camping on a point isn't a bad play, but a better play may be to help your team win a fight elsewhere. Pay close attention to the situation on the map to make good decisions. If you have map control, get more map control. You don't want to overextend, but keep an eye on the game score and your map to see which team is ahead. This is a good way to quickly gauge where your teammates are contesting for control of different areas. All this rotating means there's going to be a lot of ganks and anti-gank situations in Dominion, where multiple opponents team up against one. Definitely keep revenge in mind. You feed revenge in situations where you outnumber the opponent, and you gain revenge when you're outnumbered and receiving attacks. It's indicated by that meter just above your opponent. When that meter fills, the enemy is ready to use revenge and potentially knock down any attackers. So you can see how careful you need to be. When you're being ganked, remember that revenge is about time, not about winning the fight. Revenge lets you hold until a teammate saves you, or at least stalls the other team from capturing a zone. When you're the ganker, you need to work together with your teammate. You don't always have to throw out attacks. Careless attacking can feed revenge. Use your best pressure moves to force an opponent into a mistake. Dominion is about being a good teammate and making strategic decisions to gain map control. Follow those fundamentals and you'll find yourself outpacing the other team and getting more W's in matchmaking. Good luck and have fun, warriors.